Okay guys, in this video, we are using an MXQ Android TV box and we are going to show the config wizard and specifically with the config wizard, uh, going to set up the Android config with the add-ons from the, the TV add-ons.ag and uh, one of the current add-ons is Exodus, which a lot of people have been asking about so here we go. So from the Android 4 screen, <clears throat> I'm going to open Kodi. And just so you know, this is uh, this is recorded through a, a remote service, so that's why it won't be quite as clear as you would normally notice on your uh, high def TV. So as you can see here, we we don't have anything installed currently. So this was a, a new version of Kodi that was installed. And there's a couple other videos that show how to do that if you want to do that. And what we've used for this one is the, the super repo repository. Uh, we added the zip file and we have that already installed. And then there's other videos that we have showing how to do that as well. Um, but this one is just going to be a a quick video to show you once you have that installed uh, how to use the config wizard and you can do this if you already have add-on selected you already have and you can see this is the first run here um, but if you already have your shortcuts uh, you can still do this it'll just uh, it normally records over um, sometimes there are some leftover bits so that uh, it does it will affect your install in which case we normally just recommend you do a, a absolutely clean install. You could even reset the box, install the new version of Kodi, which is currently version 16 Jarvis, and then get a, a new repository. It could be Super Repo, it could be other repositories. Many of the repositories do have the config wizard, which we're going to use. And um, just just something else to mention as well is the the maintenance tool that again is in many of these repositories. It is also part of the TV add-ons group. The maintenance tool has the config wizard in it. So if you wanted to go that route, you could also do that, or you could just go straight to the config wizard. So as you can see with Super Repo Repository, it has a lot of the program add-ons already installed you just have to enable them if you want to use any of these and that's what we're going to do with config wizard here so we're just going to download it and then we're going to open it straight from here now this they do consider this to be an advanced option only because you are going to uh, normally wipe or record over anything else you have already configured on your Kodi. So now it's enabled and we're going to open it. And so here's the, the options and the Android option I spoke of. So uh, because this is on an Android TV box, we're going to select the Android option and that's why it's it's adding us so there's the TV add-ons uh, website if you wanted to, to check that out um, now I may I may speed this up uh, when I edit it because it does take a little while to record or actually I'm going to pause it just uh, until it does the full install Okay, I've just uh, resumed the recording here, so success. Uh, it has downloaded installation complete, so I'm going to click OK. All right, now it just, and it takes a second here, and now what it's done is it has done this. It's This is essentially the, it's the custom selection of add-ons that this, this group TV add-ons has selected and it does it for programs for music for videos uh, it has them all selected 
So uh, one of the things that I like is uh, is the it already it puts in Exodus. I mean, I like Exodus. I like Phoenix. Um, where we uh, I've been starting to use uh, velocity and salts uh, as well. But Exodus, uh, I really like. Exodus is from the developers of Genesis, which was very, very popular. And they've installed that. Now, one thing to note is when you do this, uh, this will be the version 1, uh, which sometimes, whoops. Sorry, my uh, remote just switched there. Um, so this is the, this is version 1. Now, the current version is 1.2. So what you'll probably want to do is restart your box. Uh, you could um, you it doesn't always do the uh, the update automatically, and the problem is when you with the version one, uh, you sometimes will get some errors when you try to watch stuff. So what you want to do is the easiest thing that I've found um, is to actually exit Cody and then and close shut it down and then restart it. So uh, hopefully we'll start to see some more updates. Um, and this is this is just connected with Wi-Fi, so it would be a little bit faster if it was an Ethernet connection. Okay, you can see, so you can see some of the updates are starting now. And it does have uh, it does have a lot of updates to do because it has brought in, as I showed, that entire TV add-ons pre-selected add-on configuration. So it's it's got all of them. So there's a lot of updates that have suddenly just come in had they have been enabled and they're trying to to update all of them. So even Velocity and some of the other ones, you're seeing those video add-ons getting updated. And we should see Exodus uh, get updated here as well to the latest version 1.2. And here we go. There we go. Exodus looks like they're starting to do updates. Maybe just the artwork. There we go, Exodus add-on updated. So now, when I go into Exodus, it's actually updated to 1.2. And I'm not going to show anything because of copyright laws, but you are you're now good to go with Exodus. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a little bit long because I did have to do the full install. Um, I cut out a little bit in, in the middle there, but uh, let me know if that's helpful, and let me know if there's uh, if there's other ways that you guys are getting ex Exodus. I know you can do it also through Fusion and a few other ways. Um, if there's other maintenance tools or config wizards that you're using that uh, you think are good or easier, then put a comment uh, and let us know. Thank you.